All right, pinball fans, hope everybody's having a good night. My name is Rudy, a.k.a. Loaded Weapon, and tonight I'm going to do a video for you older pin to dmd people. Uh, I know everybody's kind of moved on to LCD, but um, a lot of people's holding out for pin to dmd and want to use it with the new color files. Now, I have messed with this for for a while now. Even went back and forth with, with uh, Freezy and... Um, just for some reason I could not get it to work with the new color stuff it's like my computer would recognize it I could put the old lucky lucky one files in and it worked perfect but it didn't work with the new color files every time I'd put freezy in it it's like it wouldn't even recognize it and come to find out it's just a simple driver update alright so we're gonna get you ready for that and then I'm gonna show you how to do the driver update I'm gonna put it down below in uh, below the video and man I just can't believe how easy this is so if you have a pin to DMD and you want all your color stuff to work uh, this is the video for you so here we go first of all um, we need to get set up so if you have a baller installer you want to make sure you run the update but if you don't I'll put this link down below too, but you want to go to Freezy. You want the new 2.3. Okay, we're going to download this. We're going to get the uh, X64 version here. I'll go ahead and grab both just because I like to have both, but we'll grab this one. And we'll grab this X86. Alright. Now we're going to go to our V pin main folder. Alright, the only thing you need, you're going to need the um, DMD EXT, it doesn't matter, it, it doesn't use that, it uses the DLLs, but you can take one of these, I'll, I usually take the 64 one, so we'll take, uh, we need the DMD device DLL, and that's pretty much it, so we'll put that over here, replace, and then we need the one from the 64 bit. I'll go ahead and get the EXE and this. All right. Now you probably have an older DMD device I and I. I'm going to include one in my file with the uh, pin to DMD driver file, and you just copy my DMD device I and I over into your folder. Also, I'll show you what I'm talking about. So in here, I'm going to have these three files right here. Um, then you can take my DMD device, the I and I, and drag it over, and uh, over. You can cut back yours up or whatever you want to do, but um, use the one I'm giving you. I already have everything, all the uh, settings set, and uh, it'll be good to go. All right. So once we've did that, you need to check your VPN main folder. Now these should be the only DLLs in here. You don't want any. Um, like serum DLLs or anything like that because we only want the latest uh, we're only going to use the latest alright so it should look just like this look at that close alright so once you've did that once you've put my DMD device to I and I in there once you've deleted any extra serum files your folder basically looks just like this alright and all my DMD devices, it, I just go ahead and set it. And then down here, I'll set the size. I'll turn uh, pin. This is for pin to DMD only. I'll turn the um, pin to DMD on. Where is that? Pin to DMD true. I got. Uh, what else we got? Popper. I got that true. All of a sudden. Anyway. It's all set for you. I have the code for the color file already put in for you. Here's your VIN key and all that. All right. So once you've did that, once you've updated to the new Freezy, you've got rid of all your old files. I mean, it, it's really just this simple. So we have that all set up. Now you're going to go to my pen to DMD driver file here. This is straight from the pen to DMD website. You're going to click this. Now, I've already did mine because I got it working. But All right, so it's going to look blank like this. You're not going to be able to click anything. You need to go to Options. You need to click List All Devices. This is going to list all your devices on your PC. All right. Then you're going to click this little arrow, drop down. You're going to go down and find Pin to DMD. 
all right once you do that it'll say on the driver on the left hand side it'll say this win USB all right but we want the lib one so what we're gonna do over here on the right hand side you want the lib USB dash win 32 all right you want this driver right here and then you're gonna hit replace driver and it takes uh, two or three minutes up to maybe five minutes but once it gets done that'll be the correct driver for your pin to DMD now my pin to DMD is on 4.5 um, I think there's newer than that but it, it works perfectly on 4.5 so if you're at least on 4.5 uh, you shouldn't have an issue um, so yeah so I'm just gonna let this finish I'm just reinstall it again <clears throat> And then once it gets done, all right, we've did that. And now, now that you've set everything correctly, you got the right DMD device to INI in there, you don't have the old files, you updated to the new files, then you could just run a new table. We got like the new Tron Legacy. I'll try to take a little video of it, of my uh, phone here, and then copy it over so I can show you that this does work. As you can see, there it is. Alright, I'll try to edit that in so you can see it. And that's it. Man, it's that simple. I fooled with this thing for forever trying to get it to work. Because uh, I, I didn't have a uh, pin to DMD, but I had several people messaging me trying to update their systems or might have had an older cab and um, could not get it to work with the real with the new files and I, I couldn't get it to work either and come to find out it it's, it's just that easy okay so now once you update all your files if you got um, the new baller you could just use the pin updater it'll update all your files for you um, there's actually a new future pinball update on there also today so go ahead run the updater or manually update to the new uh, freezy and uh, install the USB driver and you're good to go. Alright, hope that helps you guys out. Until next time.